Nathan, first of all, welcome to Brentford. Thank you very much. Uh, as is always the first question for the new signer, how does it feel to be a Brentford player? Uh, it feels good. Uh, it's been going on a while now, so I was just happy to get over the line and now get ready to work. I can tell you're happy to be here because dedication to the cause, mate. You've, you've cut short, well, you've come away from a family yeah. holiday to be here today, right? Yeah, uh, listen, uh, it, it, whatever. Uh, we were said this from the start, we wanted to get the deal done, so I knew it would come out of cause, but it's all right. It's, I'm happy to get the deal done. And uh, what was it that attracted you to Brentford? Uh, I just think, well, when I talked to the manager and a few of the backroom staff, uh, just the project they have, in st they have installed like in the club now, they, it's a club on the, on the rise and I can see where they want to go and, and it's uh, excited me really. And you've come across us a few times yeah. in your fan days, uh, yeah. what have been your impressions playing against us? No, it's, yeah, it's always been tough, you know, it's always been a handful, like, some good players, good quality, you know, set up well and they're hard to beat, you know, and that, that's a team you want to play for, a team that's hard to beat, a team that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any other team, so it's always been a challenge again. And uh, you come here and you, you know one of the lads, of course, Ben Mee, yeah. our Supporters Player of the Year, yeah. Ben Mee as well. Um, have you spoke to him before coming I've over? I've texted him a little bit, yeah, he's been helping me out already, but he, even when we were right with each other in Burnley, he helped me out a lot when I first came in there, so yeah, he's a legend to be fair to him. He was actually your caretaker, Gaffer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah hard to believe, I know, but uh, he was good. We won a good few games as well, and he's not bad. He might have a career after. <laughs> 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 Hopefully, he's here one day yeah. as well, and you're here as well, mate. Um, he said about you, he said, uh, you're a, an old head. Yeah. On young shoulders is how yeah. he describes you. Yeah, I've, I've probably just, from young, I've. I don't know, I've experienced a lot, I think, of football straight away already, so it's, that's probably why I'm immature. I moved away from home when I was young. I have an older brother who, who was always beating me and stuff, so I've learned from him, and then my family's always been in football, so I've just learned from them. I've, I've, I've uh, done what they've told me, and it's got me this far. You touched on your family there, and like you say, huge sporting family in general. Tell yeah. us a little bit more about, about your sporting pedigree. Yeah, uh, football-wise it goes a long way back. I guess my granddad played and managed in Ireland. Uh, my three uncles all played, all had good careers. My dad, or my two uncles, sorry, my dad had a good career as well. Uh, my brothers played professionally in Ireland. My, other, my two cousins have both played professionally. And then my little sister, my little sister plays Gaelic now. My, my other little brother is playing football as well. So the list goes on, honestly. <laughs> I, I watched uh, an interview with your dad and he was talking about you guys growing up. Yeah. And you touched on it there, that, that competitive yeah. nature. Yeah, it's just whenever me and my brother were playing anything, it doesn't matter what sport it was, it could be PlayStation, it could be football, it could be swimming, it could be anything like it. He'd always just beat me and I could never hack it. I could never, I never liked it. So I always wanted more, I could race him again or play against him again. But yeah, I always learned the hard way, I guess. And when we were younger, yeah. A lot of people would have been like, hard oh, like they say for me, yeah. but were you like, one day it will turn? Yeah. One day the yeah. time turn. I had to beat him, you know, just so I could hold it against him. But <laughs> maybe on the, on the lucky times I beat him, but now, it, now it's a lot more, a better chance in my favour, I think. <laughs> and back then, is it right, growing up, you were a midfielder? Yeah, probably till 13, 14. I was playing midfield for my club, but um, we decided to change because I was big and I was, I could head a ball. And <laughs> so <laughs> it worked out as a centre back, but my dad played centre back as well. So I learned a lot from him. My, other, my brother played centre back. so. It helped me midfield with my touch and the agility wise, but then centre half was where my natural position was. So who were your heroes growing up then? Um, it's hard to say heroes, you know, players I looked up to. I always liked watching like Ramos, PK. I always liked watching Gerrards, players like that. Um, but obviously I had my dad, my uncles, my brothers who always helped me the most in my <laughs> career. So probably them more than anyone. So would you go and watch them when you when you growing up? Um, no, because I've been too young. They'd have been finished their career then. Yeah, oh. so I was too young. <laughs> yeah. So they have stories. Whether I believe the stories <laughs> is another question. <laughs> you mentioned Gerard there, and having watched you, you love a, a diag as well, yeah. didn't you? Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. It's just watching football. I, I've just played football. I've watched football. I love it, you know. And I just I've always tried to do what the professionals did when I was younger and. It's, a, it's still to this day, I probably do a few things that, uh, you know, <laughs> that I like to do and just have a bit of fun with it. So. What, what else can we expect from you? I've seen you bringing the ball out of defence really nicely as yeah, well. Yeah, I like, I like to play football. I want to dribble with it. I want to play football. I want to, I, want to create, I want to create stuff, you know, at the same time. So if it starts from the back, I can drive it forward. I can play long balls, short balls, you know, and just... And at the end of the day, I'm a defender. Though. I'm, I have to head it, I have to win it, I have to win my challenges. That's the main job, really. And what was kind of Thomas said to you about his plans for you this year and what he's expecting from you? No, we, we've talked a lot. He said what he's liked about me. He said what he can work on. I won't go too far into detail, but he has a plan, he has a plan in place and I'm looking forward to getting better as a player. 
Well, look, mate, I'm going to let you go because I know you've got to go back to your holiday now, haven't you? <laughs> you, you you've left your partner yeah, out there, is that right? She's all right. She'll be all right for now. <laughs> <laughs> but appreciate your time. And that is absolute unbelievable dedication to come and sign for us, mate. Appreciate and I can't it. wait uh, for the next season ahead. Thank you. Cheers.